I'd like to introduce Dr. Danoff, a part-time gastroenterologist with a master's in the flatulent arts. Please put your hands together or put your uh, butt cheeks together for the great Dr. Danoff! It is appropriate to booty clap. <laughs> Welcome to Fart History, not to be confused with backwards, uh, with oh. Art History. It's a different branch, it's across the hall at 2B. <laughs> Quick question, anyone know what show this is from? <laughs> All right, just want to gauge the audience, to see where we're at. Now, it's important to note when questioning works of fart, you want to know, what does the fart work mean? What did the fart work mean to the fartist? What were they trying to get across with their fart? What does the fart work mean to the public at large, to those around you? What did they feel from it? And last but certainly not least, what does the fart work mean to me? How does it make me feel? Now, before we get into it, a couple of fart facts. Some of these you may know. Some of these you may may not know. First and foremost, someone made this out of metal. <laughs> yeah, someone took the time. <laughs> to parody Rodin's thinker. <laughs> Could have built a fucking house with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, this is a true fact. All of these are true facts. The average person farts approximately 14 times a day, and I know what you're thinking. Oh God, I have to start counting my farts. <laughs> and that's probably a good idea. Make sure you're regular. Uh, some people aren't, and it, uh, we can tell. Uh, every day, this is also true, every day you fart enough to fill a balloon, which is why it takes me about four weeks to plan your birthday party. <laughs> I almost didn't put this one because I think we all know this one, but if you smelt it, you invariably dealt it. It's never not been you. Um, and last but not least, I'm 30. That's all I got. <laughs> now, a lot of people know that farts are used for humor, for levity, but a lot of people don't know that pro uh, there's a lot of important protest fart out there, uh, such as this guy. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, now, this is Mr. Bull uh, farting on an elected official he's not a fan of, and that in, there's a needle-nosed son of a bitch in the corner uh, claiming that is treason. Now, thankfully, we live in America where we have freedom of speech, uh, even when you're talking out your ass. Uh, now, protest farts, a lot of people fart in protest as disapproval. Uh, we all know crop dusting or the uh, silent protests, also known as a server's best weapon. If you've ever worked at a restaurant, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, it's also a, a proper expression of apathy. Uh, you know, now the important thing about the expression of apathy fart is that you cannot actually be bothered to fart. Like it's a key, here's what it actually looks like. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can see there, she's just going <laughs> to express her disinterest in everything around her. <laughs> oh, this is one of the most famous pieces of protest fart. It is known as Het Gassen. I'm definitely mispronouncing it. Uh, it is Japanese. It came from the uh, Edo period between uh, 1603 and 1868, so it is at the very least fucking old. Yeah. Uh, it, it literally translates to fart competitions, and it is literally a scroll about that long. Uh, and you're never, you're not, stop. We got this. There will be other slides. I see you straining to see this right now. Uh, but it was essentially a po protest uh, scroll to uh, protest the influx of Westerners, the Chinese, the Dutch trading company, white people in general, uh, as we do. Let's focus on this. For example, <laughs> now this is early on in the fart competition. You can tell because they're all wearing clothes, uh, and you can see uh, people beating back 
the flow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll move on. <laughs> now, this is a little further in through the fight. You can tell because things have gotten pretty serious. Uh, that whole side just had their clothes farted right off. And that person had to take shelter. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Now, this one is very powerful stuff. Um, now, you remember when I told you at the beginning that you can fill a balloon with one day's worth of farts. Imagine when you get the whole village together and fill a giant trash bag. Uh, and then throw it on your friends. And <laughs> You ever fart, smell a fart so bad you step out your shoes? That's, that's pretty rough right there. That's pretty bad. And this, this is my favorite. The fact that we don't know his name is a fucking travesty to history. He is a goddamn superhero. I don't know if you can see this. He literally farted a hole through a table that then hit the person behind it. I'm really angry I don't know his name and the fact that there are no biopics. Whatever, that's bullshit. Anyway, pop quiz, everybody. Which Hitler needs to fart? Is it this Hitler? Or this Hitler? Yes, you're right. Trick question. Hitler always needed to fart. This is a real thing. Hitler had absurd flatulence issues. Uh which is legit in an attempt to control it. He regularly took 28 regular drugs to try to control this shit, including Dr. Custer's anti-gas pills, which were black, which is not a good sign, uh, but also contained strychnine and atropine, which are poisons. Strychnine causes stomach pains, making your farts worse and constipated, so it's just nothing or air or nothing, I guess. And atropine causes mood swings from euphoria to violent anger. Mm. Yeah. Everyone thinks he hated Jews. He just had stomach <laughs> issues. The yeah. whole fucking time. Oh, and yeah, he took as many as 16 black little pills, like, every fucking day. And uh, I'm pretty sure that Hitler's farts drove him to suicide. Yeah. I think it's pretty, pretty clear. Uh, this is my favorite picture of Hitler because it kind of looks like he's just trying to squeak one out <laughs> while wondering, like, what's the meaning of Lidl? You know? It's pretty fantastic. Now let's move on to modern fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is... These are all real, by the way. Uh, this is what you see might not be real. No, I just said it's real. <laughs> But this is by our uh, Chinese artist Chen Wen Ling, uh, and it was. Th this is the Wall Street bull using a fart to gore Bernie Madoff uh, in one of the strongest uh, commentaries on our economic policy I've ever seen. Yeah. On the opposite end of the spe spectrum, you have Mr. <laughs> Methane, who was a contestant on America's Got Talent this year, and he likes to blow out candles with his butt noise. <laughs> Cake farts. Let's talk about it. Cake farts are the trap music of modern fart. <laughs> and just because I found this absurd, this is a woman farting on a cake on the radio, which is, you didn't need to get a cake or a woman for that. You could just press... They're all on your soundboard. You know you have them. Just pretend you can have a woman. You don't know women. Pretend you have a woman. But they made a woman do that. Uh, even though no one's ever going to... It's probably only would do it on the radio, actually. All right. The worst type of fart, I think we all know, is corporate fart. It's the appropriation of fart. You know, fart without purpose. Just capitalist made to sell shit. Like this right here. This ad for mylifeandkids.com that says how to make fart noises that will impress your kids, your spouse, co-workers, and your mother-in-law. Because <laughs> at this point, I'll do anything to impress anybody. <laughs> and that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. Yay!